Ken Gosnell here with CEO Experience, and today I want to share something that I believe will help your business double, triple, quadruple in sales if you will just begin to think seriously about it. It's what we're going to be talking about this month at the CEO Retreats, the CXP CEO Retreats, that you can find more about at www.ceoretreatday, ceoretreatday.com is where we bring together 10 to 15 CEOs and business owners to challenge one another, to learn some biblical business principles and business application, and to keep each other uh, inspired and motivated by things that are working. This month, we're going to be focused on the idea of developing winnable proposals. And uh, the reality is that most people underestimate or undervalue the importance of a right proposal at the right time. Every one of us deals with contracts and every business has in it certain contracts that they have with employees, with vendors, suppliers, and even customers. And it's important to think through critically the 10 key aspects of every good proposal to make sure that it's a winnable proposal, that it's a good proposal, both for your clients, your customers, your vendors, and for your business. And here's what I did. I took thousands of years of information and wisdom, mostly gained through the Bible, and I created a 10-point checklist that's essential that every business can follow when they go to write things on a proposal. And they're going to be real practical application because we believe in bringing that which is business experience and business acumen and bringing it down to a practical level so you can apply it in your business and I can apply it into my business so that we can get better and become better stewards of the businesses that we run. This 10 point practical uh, develop a winning proposals uh, checklist, it includes things like putting information in there about why you, why your business is essential that other businesses would want to do business with. And sometimes this simple summary at the beginning of a proposal can make the difference between being accepted or rejected simply because you set yourself apart by describing what's different about you and your organization from anybody else that they're going to do business with. And guess what? There's only one you. There's only one business exactly like you. And so you have a uniqueness to you. You have a unique selling proposition. You have unique gifts and abilities. You have unique talents. And many businesses never under uncover those or un understand the value of those. Hey, people like to do business with people that they like. And this winnable proposal checklist will help you to think through how to include that on every single proposal that you enact so that people begin to understand it's not just about a, a relationship through a contract, it's about a relationship between people. You know, in this uh, particular executive guide, we also talk about the importance of covenants and commitments and vows. And one of the things that I'm most excited about at our CEO retreats this month is we're going to have a little bit of a conversation around some of the most important vows that you make in your life. And sometimes that most important vow includes a vow to your spouse and how to uphold that covenant in a way that honors your relationships and it honors God. And I know many CEOs and business owners struggle with the vows that they make in the covenant relationships of a marriage. And so we want to dig into that. And so we believe that this, uh, this month at our CEO retreats and this particular guide, it, it can be transformational to your life and to your business. If you'll press in and listen to the best advice and the best wisdom and the best idea of others, and more importantly, if you listen to the best ideas that God has as it relates to covenant relationships and contracts and proposals, that you might include. You know, the reality is, is that God is a God of covenants. He, he's a God of contracts and relationships. He's been doing it since the creation of the world. His first contract with this was, was with an employee named Adam, who he put into his business in a garden and said, hey, Adam, I want you to do these things. And, and here's what I'm going to do on my part. Now, we know some of that story that Adam broke that relationship or that covenant or that contract and so God had a response for Adam but isn't it interesting 
You're going to learn more about good proposals and good contracts and good covenants from the creator of contracts. Somebody that's been doing it for thousands and thousands and thousands of years than some latest business guru or some latest business book that may give you an idea, but it's not been proven through time. It's not been tested as being successful. So I want you to check it out. And matter of fact, here's what I want to do for you. Here's my offer. I will give you this executive guide for free. One executive guide I want to put into every hand and every business owner across America. If you want this executive guide, you can just send me a message at Ken Gosnell, my first and last name together, Ken Gosnell, G-O-S-N-E-L-L, at ceoexperience.com. Ken Gosnell at CEO ceoexperience.com just say free guide and send me an email and i'll deliver this uh, guide for, for you so that you can have it it's over 50 pages long but it's my gift to you as something that hopefully will improve your business it'll improve your relationships and it'll improve your life